Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to make an instrumental GIF slash GIF. I, I, whichever way you say it, I think you're right. I say GIF. But anyways, I wanted to show you an example of how you could use this in your classroom. So I taught Mary Had a Little Lamb on uh, ukulele a while back, and I realized that after a while, like, I could kind of go over what it looked like and I could show it on my ukulele, but as I was walking around to help students, sometimes, you know, they needed that visual aid, um, you know, many more times and I just couldn't physically walk around to every student and show them multiple times. And so I thought that a GIF would work out really well. And so what I did is I inserted a kind of instrumental GIF um, and we learned kind of phrase by phrase, and then this was up here as a visual aid for my students. And so that is what I'm going to teach you to do today. And honestly, this is like the sky's the limit. You could do this for a quarter. You could do this for, um, you know, solfege or, or solfa hand signs. You could do it for xylophone, for guitar. There's so many possibilities. So let's go ahead and dive in. So we're going to go over into my PowerPoint here, and I have already created um, the visuals. And really, you want to think of this as kind of like stop motion, like, you know, like that clay where you just like do the quick adjustment and then take a picture, the quick adjustment and take a picture. That's kind of essentially what you're doing when you're creating a GIF. So you're creating all of the images, and then the images are just being sped up and looped. So uh, first of all, let's talk about where you can get some amazing clip art to create your images. So I really like to use Dancing Crayon Designs. They have so many music teachers specific things like body percussion, you know, here, oh, whoops, here are your hand signs, you know, here's some orchestra instruments, percussion instruments. Um, there is so much that you can use here to create your visuals. So let's continue on with kind of our ukulele example. So one thing that I noticed that I didn't have in this GIF is that my students didn't really know when it started back over. It could be kind of tricky. So I did start with a countdown. So you're gonna have your image in the starting position. So I have my little arm, I have my ukulele, and then I also have some arrows. If you want to create an arrow, all you have to do is insert and shape, and you can create your arrow from there. And then what I even did is I color coded it to the correct color that I wanted, and let's just say it's going to be this green. You can double click on it and write, you know, your letter. And I believe if I go over to here, I can change. Where did I change it? Yes, there we go. So I can make it instead. Let's rotate it stacked so then they'll go the correct way. Where's horizontal? Let's try it again. Uh, there we go. Just gotta play around with it until you get it. Okay, and so then you could add in there. All right, so now that we kind of have know the different pieces there, we also have our text box here. And so I want it to highlight, you know, the ready play as it goes. So how I did that is I just inserted my text and then I would highlight what I wanted to um, be in blue. And I go to shape format and then I would go to text fill, and then I filled in with the color there. And then I would go to the next one, and you know I would just make this blue, and then this one blue, and then that one blue. And so it gives it a good countdown. Okay, then the phrase starts off with our open E string, then moves to you know our second fret space. This is just a dot, like a circle that I filled in, and these are just two arrows. I moved up my arm, and then I have my ukulele. And then open C, then two, then back to E, E, E. And when I was even thinking for this, because it's three open E's in the GIF, it's gonna look pretty similar. So I might even add, because I want them to kind of see that it's that E again. I wonder, I could put a one to be like E, one, two, three. Um, and I could put that over the hand, or maybe even I could put over here in the arrow, I could put E1, 2, 3. I think I'm going to stick with the hand though, I kind of like that, so we'll put 1, we're going to copy and paste it, 2, 
and then three. Maybe that'll help them notice that they're supposed to play the E string three times in a row. Okay, so then once you kind of have your images and you're ready to go, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna save it and you're gonna go over to export. And then down here, you can export it as an animated GIF or GIF. And here's where, you know, rhythm is not really going to be perfect on this. You know, you can put how many seconds you want before it goes to the next slide. Um, one is just fine, going through one through 11. Um, medium, large, put your different, you know, quality. I'm just gonna stick with medium. And also, this is a big thing, make background transparent. So this is where it's going to remove that white background, which if you like it, great, awesome. Um, for this, for putting it into my presentation, I actually want to make the background transparent. And then I'm going to go ahead and export. I also have it, um, my phase one, or phrase, phase one, I meant phrase. That was a long time ago, <laughs> okay. And then let's make sure that it is in here. And I'm gonna go down to my ukulele folder that is very far away, let's see. Oh, saw it. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're gonna export. Okay, then what you do is you go to the presentation you'd like to add in, and I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out. I'm gonna put in that new one. I'm gonna press insert, and you're just gonna insert it like an image. So let's go down to my ukulele folder. Do you love my organization? <laughs> All right, and then we have it right here. I'm gonna insert. Okay, and so, Gonna put it down here. All right, and let's see it in action. Looks pretty good. Um, it does look a little blurry. Maybe I could play around with the quality. Um, I might want to make it bigger. Let's go ahead and delete that. Let's go back. And let's export it again. And this time, let's make it bigger. That might help with the quality. Let's just go large and see if that helps. I'm curious. Let's replace it. OK, we're going to go over and insert image, upload, go back to my GIF. All right, it looks a little better. The quality is not going to always be you know, stellar. And honestly, for what we want from it, I don't think that that matters too much. All right, let's present that again. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So essentially, when you're making a GIF, you gotta secure the clip art that you're going to use. You can use simple shapes in PowerPoint in order to you know, get that meaning across. You're going to put them in so that when you go through each slide, it's kind of like a movie. And then file, export, animated GIF. Probably want to make it a larger image quality. You could make it a background transparent or not. And then you also control how fast it goes in between. Uh, and this is where the only limitation is really when it comes down to rhythm. You can show fingerings and things like that, but you can't quite show timing. And so that might be where, you know, a GIF maybe it might be the difference between instead you want to go through your presentation and do a screen recording, and then you could maybe do more of the timing by clicking through your presentation with the timing that you want. And then instead of exporting it as or inserting it as an image or a GIF, you would insert it as a video. All right, guys, hopefully that helps you out. I think that, again, the, the options and the different things that you could do with this, like the sky's the limit, but I just wanted to share that with you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.